and given their obligatory labels here before being sent on their way to the shops. But hidden away at the back is this laser machine that could change food labelling as we know it. Only a couple of months ago, the EU gave the go-ahead for this technology, which uses safe iron oxides and hydroxides to label fruit and vegetables. But now we're there. Logos, barcodes, prices, use-by dates and even food traceability information could be permanently tattooed on our produce. Yes, there have been laser labelling systems around before. What the difference between those systems and this system is that this system doesn't damage the fruit in any way whatsoever. What it does is remove a tiny amount of pigment from the fruit surface. So it doesn't compromise the surface of the fruit or the interior in any way at all or speed up the ageing process. Hmm. I don't think I've ever really thought about the stickers on oranges before, but once you learn that Marks & Spencer's in one year alone produced seven tonnes of labelling for their oranges, you start to see how this could be the future. There's a lot of environmental benefits to this because currently paper labels have to be applied to loose products for identification. Uh, those labels have to be produced in factories and then shipped around the UK and around the world to our growers to be able to apply to the products. With this technology, it's sent by modem to a machine. So there's no uh, stock of labels, the designs can be changed really easily. The carbon footprint is much lower, it's a fraction of what it is currently.